Hey guys, I'm Andy Lynn, coming to you from Region 7 here in South Carolina. We will be covering foundational skills for creating open forms or some stuff that you guys may can use in a demo team. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's start with a warm up. First, we're going to start with a punch jump, but there's a special way we need to step for you to get maximum height on your jump. I'll demonstrate one first. So remember, we're not on a trampoline, so we can't pound the ground really hard. We want to be smooth when we step up into this. So we're going to take two steps, come forward one, put the feet together two, push off the toes, and swing your arms hard. Use your knees, bend those knees, and jump as high as you can. Reach for the ceiling. Okay? Step one, step two, swing your arms and really punch up as high as you can. Punch jumps, okay? Let's train. Let's do this exercise together for 30 seconds. Our next exercise is going to be a tuck jump. So very similar to the punch jump, but now we're going to bring our knees up super high. So I'll demonstrate. I'm going to take my two steps, swing my arms, but this time I'm going to pull my knees up to you. Just like that. This jump can be done with knees in and knees out. I'll demonstrate. Knees in the front and knees out. Okay, keep your hands up. Swing them, practice keeping them in the guard, okay? Let's try this. When you run out of room, you can hustle back or turn and do the jumps going backwards. some kicking. The first kick we're going to do is a pop front kick, which will be using the tuck jump that we used earlier in our warm-up. This will be using the tuck jump when we brought our knees in the front. So we're going to take the two big steps and jump bringing the knees up, but this time when you jump, you're going to shoot that front kick out nice and high. Make sure you chamber and kick up nice and high, keeping the back leg tucked. When you keep that back leg tucked, it makes it look like you're jumping high. The next kick is a split kick. So basically it's two jump front kicks out to the sides, out to the corners. Okay, so this is the same step up like we did for our tuck jump, but now we're gonna use the tuck jump where your knees come out. So bringing the knees out and then shooting out two front kicks nice and high. When you do this, try to keep your hands in, whether they're up, they're down, nice and side, and then only flailing the legs, okay? So keep that in mind. Make sure these are snap front kicks with pointed toes. The next kick we're gonna do is what we call a spin hook kick. So using this in extreme forms, it can be done either, either as more of a crescent kick or more of a heel kick. Either one of those is fine. So let's break it down. I'm gonna be doing this kick, spinning to the left, kicking with my left leg. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist. Keeping my feet on the ground, I'm gonna twist, and now my left leg is on top. From here, I'm going to chamber either that crescent or hook kick. Top point's going to come out, pulls through, and go straight to the back. Okay, again, so I twist on the ball of my feet, keeping my feet nice on the ground. That top leg's going to come up and kick through. This can be done on both sides. The next kick we're going to do is a level up from the spin hook kick, and we call this kick a tsunami. So just like the spin hook kick, but now I'm going to fake and jump kick it now. So I'm going to take my back leg up like I'm going to do a round kick or fake it this way. And then I'm going to jump kick with the leg that's in the front. Fake, kick. So again, slow. Back leg comes up to fake. And I'm going to jump off this leg and throw the kick there. Now I'm going to do an Audubon. So this is kind of a level up from the Tsunami because now we're going to add a second fake. So I'll demonstrate first. Okay, so now I'm starting with the kicking leg in the back. 
I'm gonna spin just like a regular spin hook kick, but now I'm gonna fake this leg, jump switch, fake the right leg, then pop around for the kick. So we're going fake, fake, then the kick in there. Kick. Let's give that one a try. The last level of the spin hook kick we're gonna work on today is a cheap 720. So just like the spin hook kick, I'm kicking left leg, I got my left leg in the back, I'm gonna spin and fake, but now instead of kicking here, I'm gonna jump spin all the way around, and then kick when I come back down. It's kind of hard to do this kick in slow motion, so I'm gonna do it full speed, and then we'll slow it down for you. I'm doing this kick on my left leg, which is my favorite side, but it can be done on both. You choose your favorite. 